color photography is like a novel that spells everything out in detail, whereas black and white photography is like poetry. Its strength isn't in what's said, it's in what's left out. I remember the first time I took a photo on a camera, it felt magical because in that moment, I was able to capture something in life that would literally never happen again. That moment would never happen again. When I look back at the photo, I was able to feel what I felt when I took the picture. Everything from the way it looked to sometimes even the way it smelled. And ever since then, I've been doing photography for what, about 20 years now? I've been chasing that feeling of magic when it comes to cameras. And I found that black and white photography is one of those things that has helped me reignite that feeling again. So in this video, we're gonna talk about why. I feel like everybody, no matter if you're a beginner or an advanced photographer, should try out black and white photography. Trust me, it is so much to learn from it. Let's go. Now I know black and white photography is not everybody's cup of tea. However, I feel like as content creators, photographers, you know, filmmakers and stuff like that, it's important that we try to get as many skills as we can. And black and white photography, like I said in the intro, can teach you a lot. Now, if you want to try out black and white photography, even if it's with your phone, I recommend using something that can give you a black and white preview. I'm using the Nikon ZF because this has a whole black and white switch and I'm able to see black and white through the viewfinder instead of colors. And I think that is hugely important when you do black and white photography because when you start looking at the world through black and white, you'll notice that things look a bit different. Now this right here is a perfect example of why I think black and white photography is so dope. Had I not been able to see black and white through this viewfinder and I was only able to see color like it was when I initially looked through it, I probably wouldn't have took that photo because for some reason, we take photos in black and white of things that seem boring, they seem to come to life. They seem to add drama and emotion to the photo that otherwise might not have been there. I love to use this tactic on sunny days also, especially when everything is blown out, you got highlights blown out, the shadows are super dark. Take the photo in black and white. I think what happens is when we are taking photos in color, that's what we focus on. We focus on making sure that all the colors are working together well, and we don't focus on the composition and what the photo feels like more than anything. And when you remove all those extra colors and the only thing you have to focus on is black, white, and gray in the composition itself, I feel like the image wakes up. So I feel like this is one of my favorite things to do when I'm struggling to find creativity. And maybe it's something that you could try out also. If you're struggling for composition or creativity or to fill a photo, switch it over to black and white. What I love about taking photos in black and white is it forces us to go back to the basics of photography. Remember, before we had color cameras, they could only shoot in black and white, which means they couldn't use color as a crutch. They had to focus on the composition, the feeling, the leading lines, and how light and shadows interplay with one another. What I'm saying is, black and white photography is the core of what photography is. So before you shrug it off, just remember that some of the most iconic images ever taken were taken in black and white. As you look through this viewfinder and you see everything in black and white, you start to realize that colors don't mean as much as you thought they did. It's no longer about the reds and the blues and the teals and the magentas and the yellows. You start to realize that light becomes your color. Contrast becomes your color. And it helps you see a world in a contrasty way versus a colorful way, which again, when it comes to capturing emotion and the core of what photography is all about, photography is all about light and contrast. So when you can see the world that way and eliminate the color and the distractions out of it, it brings you so much closer to actually capturing what that image feels like. And I know this all sounds cliche, but trust me, when you try it, you will you know, immediately understand what it is that I'm talking about. Now, before we move on with this video, I have to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Motion Array. They are the one-stop shop for video creators. They literally have everything that you need on there, and everything is professional quality, royalty-free, and copyright-free, so you never have to worry about problems using your social networks. Now, that lady that you heard in the intro, she was actually created using Motion Array's new voiceover AI feature. A lot of times, I be feeling like it's my own voice that's the best for my videos, but sometimes it's not, so I'm glad I was able to go on there and choose from all of these different voices find the one that worked out best for this project and I just typed in there what I wanted it to say and I press generate now once you press generate you can play it back and listen to it if it's perfect you download it but you can go on there you can change it tweak it and then you just download it and add it to any project now you can go on there and try it for free but I promise you once you do it you're gonna want more and they do have a price plan and a package for everybody so whether you just want 
the voice over AI, or you want everything on there. You just go on there and select the plan that works the best for you. Now, I can actually give you 50 bucks off an annual subscription, but only when you use the link in the description and in the pinned comment of this video. So thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. One of the other things I really love about black and white photography is just how classic and timeless it is. It never gets old. You know, photography goes through phases. Sometimes everybody wants the film emulations and other times everybody wants that moodiness and all that other stuff. And black and white photography has just withstood every single phase throughout time. It never gets old. The other thing I really love about black and white photography is a lot of times when we're taking these photos, you can use them as art for your, you know, your apartment, your house, anything like that and you don't need to worry about do my colors match with this photo and all this other stuff because black and white photography just looks good anywhere and everywhere now a lot of you will say oh i could just edit the photo in black and white after the fact i mean sure you can and there's nothing wrong with that however trust me when i tell you it's totally different when you actually take the black and white photo on the spot you feel much more connected to it if you want to make this feeling even more intense try limiting the amount of exposures that you are taking so i remember when i used to use film cameras they would only have like 36 exposures to a roll well instead of spraying and praying shoot in black and white and be more intentional by only using 36 exposures on your camera lastly there's a reason why a lot of portrait photographers take black and white portraits it brings intimacy it also really helps out skin tones and imperfections on people's faces. So again, you need to try black and white photography. Are we doing this? We raining on me now? Okay, the other reason I think everybody should try black and white photography is because why not? It's a challenge. It's doing something that you aren't used to doing. It's forced you to see the world in a totally different way than you are used to. And I think as photographers, that is something that we really need. We need something to help us get a sharper eye than what we have already. And it's not costing you anything. We shooting on digital anyway. So it's like, why not accept the challenge and try to do something that could even help your color photography better? Because it will. The point I'm trying to drive home to you is do something to reconnect yourself with that passion for photography that you used to have. Because if you had it, you wouldn't still be watching this video and you made it this far. So that means you need to do something. So whether that's you going out to buy an old vintage film camera or whether that's you trying out black and white photography to get yourself connected back to your passion, do something. Black and white photography really helped me out and I hope that it will help you out also. Big shout out to Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. Remember, I will save you 50 bucks off an annual subscription using the link down there in the description and pinned comment. Make sure that y'all hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when new videos go up. And until next time, I'm out of here. Tyser Terry Warfield, piece of chicken grease. Much love, y'all. I'm out. Peace.